Hi, welcome to Me Living. I am very excited and have been waiting for to make this video as requested by one of my viewers to make a video demonstrating how to make a Hmong poached chicken to pack as a lunch for a relative or a friend that visit us. In the Hmong culture, it is tradition when we have a family member or a friend visiting us. Even though during their stay with us or visit with us, we provide a lot of food to them as our hospitality. When they are ready to return home, we don't want them to go hungry. We want to pack them food. And so this food or lunch is the Hmong poached chicken and some rice because we want to send them off going home not hungry. So along the way home, midway or halfway, they get hungry they have our poached chicken and rice to feed them. This is a beautiful tradition in our culture and I am so proud of this Kaiwon, uh, the Shu uh, or the poached chicken lunch that we practice in our culture. This video can be lengthy and so there may be more than one part to this video. As part one today, I am going to be sharing some significance about this poached chicken on what to do, what not to do as you are prepared to cook this poached chicken to pack as a lunch to your loved one. So the chicken liver is a form of communication. Most of the time it is a negative message. That is why when you clean the chicken, ready to cook the chicken to pack as a lunch for your friend or your relative, you need to make sure you remove all of the liver out of the chicken, okay? Because if you don't and the liver remains in the chicken, the relative or the friend that you pack the lunch to Everybody is different. Some people who are not as traditional, even if they receive your poached chicken as a lunch and the liver remains inside the chicken, they don't mind, they'll just eat it up. But for those who are very traditional, the traditional folks, if they receive your poached chicken as a lunch and on the way home, they stop by a rest area and they eat the chicken and they found the liver inside. That tells them that you are trying to communicate a message to them. Mostly that message that you're trying to communicate to them may be a negative message. So that the receiver of the chicken will be puzzled, questioning why you know, why is this happening? What are you trying to say? What are you trying to tell me? And so that is why it's very important. Do not leave the chicken liver. If you have a good relationship with your relative, your friends, the person that you're packing the lunch to, and you're not intending to send any message to them in any form, always make sure to remove the liver out of the chicken when you clean the chicken before you cook the chicken, pack it as a lunch to them, okay? A second thing I wanted to share is uh, the chicken head, the chicken feet. Traditionally back home, my mom and all of your moms or grandmas, they usually cook the poached chicken with the head and the feet. Nah? However, now in America, uh, some of us cook the poached chicken with the head and with the feet, but some of us don't. But the head and the feet it, it doesn't have as much significance. So you can either choose if you have a chicken that has very nice head, very nice feet with no disease, you can choose to keep the head and the feet and cook your poached chicken to pack for the lunch. But a lot of times when we get this chicken, their feet are not healthy and their head is not as nice. So we end up cutting the feet, cutting the head and just cook the chicken and pack as a lunch. That is fine too, not an issue. So about the head and the feet, either way would be just fine, okay. And then uh, thirdly, I wanted to share it's the way you cut the chicken open. Nowadays in America, when we clean the chicken, some people uh, would, you know, cut the chicken open from the chest 
and clean the inside. You take out all the guts, the liver, the lungs, everything. And if that is your preference of you know, opening up the chicken, that is okay too. There is no right or wrong. Um, however, for my personal preference, I don't like opening up the chicken by the chest. I like to remove all the gizzards, the guts from the inside of the chicken from the bottom. That way, my chicken is, um, as a whole, it's rounded with a nice chest when I cook it as a post chicken to wrap it as a lunch. So either way, there's no right or wrong. You do it however you like. You can cut up at the front or at the bottom to remove all the guts from the inside. It's okay. The fourth thing I wanted to share is cutting the chicken. Everybody is different. Some people prefer cutting the poached chicken into pieces and pack as a lunch and give it to uh, their friends or relative. Some people don't like cutting the chicken into pieces. I think packing the chicken as a whole is most appropriate and the best way. Uh, unless that individual of your friend or your family, you know specifically that they want the poached chicken to be cut up into pieces and they directed you or you know them very well, you of course will cut that chicken. And if you don't know that individual, whether they like the chicken to be cut or not, the best practice is to cook the chicken as a whole and then pack the lunch to have a whole poached chicken as their lunch to give it to them. So I hope that this information is helpful to you as you prepare the Hmong poach chicken to pack as a lunch to someone who visits you. And we will see you in video two. When <laughs>